Yo, what's going on, my people? Today we're checking out more ML Core videos for you guys today, and this is pretty much the remnants of Subscribe for Movie Night that I didn't get a chance to get to, but I hope you guys do enjoy these videos nonetheless. I do greatly appreciate every last one of you guys, especially after our recent 20K celebration. Thank you guys so much for the crazy amount of support. Let's dive on in. Let's do it. All right, guys. So today we're checking out a channel called Amukade Bozo. I hope I said your name correctly. If not, I apologize sincerely. But we're gonna check out Statue and all horror. Now, I believe this is a continuous series. I'm about to go ahead and check it out. Let's get it. Close captions as well. History of the Damned. All right. Let's get it. John Wayne Gacy. John Wayne Gacy was an extroverted construction worker who was interested in politics and even worked as a clown for birthday celebrations. He wasn't a clown. Gacy oh. was arrested in 1978 when a 15-year-old kid, who was last seen with him, went missing. It wasn't the first time relatives of missing boys pointed fingers at Gacy. But it was the first time officials took their concerns seriously. Soon after, authorities were permitted to entry to the Gazi residence, where they smelled roughly 30 bodies 30? buried in a four-foot crawl space beneath his house. He was found guilty of 33 charges of murder, as well Yo! as rape and murder, and was killed by lethal injection in 1994. That's crazy. Ted Bundy. Oh lord, here we go. How many times I heard Ted this name? Ted Bundy really? relished the attention his killings brought him, and many people in the United States were ready to give him that attention. The western United States was his hunting zone, with an undetermined number of killings, usually of college-aged women, stacking up from Washington and Oregon all the way to Utah and Colorado. But he was captured and convicted of abduction in Colorado, but he escaped and moved to Florida where he killed several times more. Bro. Bundy's ultimate arrest and its aftermath captivated the nation, as the alleged killer functioned as his own lawyer throughout what is thought to be the first televised murder trial, encouraged interviews, and boasted of the admirers he had made. Jack. Jack. We call him Jack the Ripper. Ripper. Oh. We have no idea who was behind one of the oldest and most renowned murder sprees. In 1888, the murder emerged in London's Whittakapel neighborhood and murdered and mutilated five people, all prostitutes. The killer was thought to be a surgeon, butcher, or someone proficient with a scalpel. According to police, by mailing letters explaining the crimes, the killer insulted the community and the police. Despite the fact that several suspects have been named throughout the years, the killer has never been identified. The sole form of identification obtained by the police was from a letter labeled, From Hell. Yo, that's creepy, bro. Oh! Jackson Log 1. I finally got a day off. The NPD needed extra help dealing with the ever growing cases since Christmas times. People looking at the bike racks. Hmm. But today has finally stopped. We decided to take a walk in the woods behind our house. Oh Lord. Abandoned house. See, why don't why would you even think to go near that? I decided to bro. That was a yeah, you don't say. I don't know 
bottles are empty or cover empty beer cans. Dude, that's crazy. Then I found the statue. Oh no. Why they taking video of snakes drinking water? What's going on? Cherubim guardian, de entre las piedras de su ego. Tu por las once enorgulleció a causa de tu hermosura, y por rompiste tu sabiduría a causa de tu esplendor. What language is this? Si te a la tierra. Can't really tell with the warp tone, but uh... Y a Jesús caer como un rayo del cielo. Yo, this, this is insane, dude. It's honestly giving me the chills. A statue of Jesus Christ. It was well carved out of marble with indication, indicate details and texture. Whoever made this statue is an amazing sculptor. I give them that. But they are sick. When I walk up to the statue, it was a closer look at what I've... The hand of the... An arm sticking out of the back of the statue. There were stitches along that. Whoa, what? Backside of the statue, there was also a note that it said, "The one who saw the light, the lightning." I immediately called the police. What? And for a while, they made coworker Carter call the fire department. Fire department arrived. They broke open the statue. Oh, don't tell me it's a. It was a whole body in the statue. Yo, that's crazy. Stapled her chest. Oh. Yo. Why was she so happy? Who did this to her? I have so many questions. I do too! First I had to contact her parents. Honestly, so far with this video, it set the mood straight of the intense, I guess, cases of... I'm trying to be very careful what I say, because, you know, YouTube. Bro, that's insane. That's really freaking creepy, man. Hey, I, it honestly gave me the chills, but, yo... We got a, we got another one to check out too, guys. So let's go. Let's go on to the next one. All right, guys. Continuing on with the same channel. This is Package from Hell, Analog Horror. Let's get it. The first one was really intense. I mean, we continue on the Jackson logs too, which is great. So, hey, are we able to contact Sarah's parents? Listening to the mother scream in pure despair, it broke me. I need to give my son a hug when I get home. Anyways. We have received Sarah's autopsy reports. It's sickening. Okay. Drugs, chemicals found in her system. Saliva. Whoa, 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 whoa. Y'all going too fast. Yo, they found... Sal Wait. Salva delirium? Uh, hallucin hallucinogenic? Uh, muscle relaxant? Induced cardiac arrest? What? Paralyzed and euthanized? Yo! What the? That dude. That is crazy. Wounds. Seven? Yo, if you squeamish to this, I'm sorry, guys. So seven stab wounds, forearm bones removed, and replaced with seven. A pole? Forearm bones was insert. Wait, wait. Forearm bones were inserted seven inches into. Uh, yo, yo. What the heck? This is brutal. Yeah, that's scary. How fast your life can be taken from you? Yeah, by some crazy person. Earlier today, when I got home. 
there was a package on our porch. It was labeled from hell. Oh, buddy. Here we go. I think you're next, my guy. Wait, what? Freaking Oswald. What? Oh, okay. Good music, probably. Copyright the heck. What the heck? History of the world, bro. What is even happening anymore, dude? Iron Maidens? Oh, God. A solid iron cabinet with a hinge front and an interior coated with spikes. Dude. Tall enough to confine a person makes up the torture. Guys, I know I don't normally pause in videos, but let me tell you something about this. I have gotten PTSD from Iron Maidens in general. Those of you who are, like, you know, who play Souls games, and I decided to play Elden Ring for the first time. And when I when I just when I found out like Iron Maidens were like one of the enemies that literally just get you, and I got bodied over and over by those freaking monsters. I kid you not, I got PTSD and those freaking things, man. But yeah, I definitely know what those are. But sorry about that, guys. I just had to throw that in there. Tool known as the oh, Iron God. Maiden. In the 18th century, the first tales about the Iron Maiden were written. There is no proof that Iron Maidens existed before to the 18th century, despite their reputation as a medieval method of torture. Mm. However, there are historical accounts of the Spartan ruler Navis using a similar tool for extortion and murder circa 200 BC. Ironically, Jeez. the Abbasid vizier Ibn al creation zayats of a wooden oven like chest with iron spikes for torture would be applied when he was imprisoned and put to death in 847. God. Theoretical Iron Maidens, according to Wolfgang Skilled, a professor of criminal law, criminal law history, and philosophy of law at the University of Bielefeld, were built together from relics discovered in museums to make magnificent objects designed for commercial exhibition. In museums all around the world, such as the San Diego Museum of Man, the Meiji University Museum, and various torture museums in Europe, there are several 19th century Iron Maidens on display. Sheesh. Dude, that, this is freaking crazy. Inside the package was three pictures. The first picture was that of a painting pres uh, presumed made by a killer labeled. Home? Oh, what the heck is that? Second picture was a drawing of a house on fire. Looks more like the house exploded, but whose house is that? Sent these images to investigators see what located the house of the drawing. It's got to be fingerprints on them. The last picture was interesting. A photo labeled. What the heck, man? That's him. That's the... Yo! Skinny man, no hair, and a sadistic smile. Send me the... Dude, that's creepy. Is he taunting the police? No, he is taunting me. But why me? You got in this business that doesn't matter right now. The killer knows where we live. I need to get Amanda and Jamie somewhere safe. Oh, and before I forget... The date is December 18th, 20, uh, 2011. I need to remember to put dates on these. Don't forget. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. This gave me freaking chills, dude. Then, honestly, it kind of reminds me. I, I actually did take a point of, like, watching a deep dive of, like, you know, crazy cases and stuff like that where the actual, um people who are committing these crimes they actually do take the time to actually taunt the police until they get caught it's like some weird type of game that they play and it's freaking disturbing man and crazy enough i remember um 
seeing one of these from a YouTuber I watched for like years now, um, and she actually was talking about a uh, like a case that happened where in Japan where the, they were taunting the police. It's freaking insane. I'm not gonna say what because YouTube YouTube will probably like nope. They, I'm already pushing it with this video, but yo, oh Lord, that that's very freaking crazy to me. But let's hop on to the next one, guys. See, this is really freaking bone chilling like you don't need jump scares for things to be disturbingly scary all right guys so we're continuing on with the final i think this is their latest one called vita carnis flavor enhancer commercial so i'm gonna go ahead and check this out this is a three minute 47 second one and i do love my horror commercials so i don't know if this is a continuation of the previous video but i just wanted to check it out anyway because this creator is freaking talented please like i said to everybody uh, and whenever I do these kinds of videos, check out the creator. Links will be in the description down below. They definitely deserve all the credit that is due. Yeah, let's get it. I'm, more, I'm curious about this one. Let's go. Video contains flashing lights, loud sounds, graphic content. Viewers, discretion is advised. Whew. All right. What we got? Flavor. Flavor. The most crucial <laughs> component to enjoying a good meal. The way food tastes is what makes eating so pleasurable. Yeah. But what if you could savor every little detail you could possibly want? I think that'll be that sensible. That's why we <laughs> at Nutrier Co. have made it so that you may enjoy every single bite you take. Okay. That looks, With our I product, what that, what is the that? flavor enhancer, you can extract every last morsel of taste from that your chicken. plate. Potatoes? With overwhelming demand for this essential product, even since our start Experience earlier this year, we have savor. delivered what you wanted. Now introducing the Flavor Enhancer Deluxe. Deluxe. Now packaged in a larger size and modified recipe, there is now even more savory goodness to go around. I'm not gonna lie, that emblem on here... Some tell me it's like some satanic freaking, uh, <laughs> some satanic seasoning. I, I'm just saying, that look like that symbol look like it's a part of a cult, too. I'm just throwing that out there, but let's go. Round. Since our debut in mid-1990, the flavor enhancer has shown to be a major hit, with our product flying off the shelves. The flavor enhancer deluxe will allow us to satisfy your growing, tasting needs. Now allowing you to add even more enhancer to your dinner, making Jeez, your food even much. better to enjoy. Too much. The flavor enhancer deluxe available on shelves now. New Trier Co. Experience true savor. What the heck is happening? sizes make dining even more pleasant now allowing more generous amounts of enhancer at a time flavor oh, enhancer man. deluxe now available in stores near you new trier co experience truth save the heck is happening Make your taste buds pop with the new deluxe. That size. is some dry mac and cheese. Make tasting even more awesome. Mm. awesome. Okay, he didn't like me talking about his mac and cheese. Spoil your kids with this essential part of every meal. New trier. Hello? Even on brand? Deluxe. Required for all meals, no matter how small it seems, just a little more. It is crucial to everyday eating. Yo. Is this like some hypnotic seasoning? Yo, hey! It's hypnotic seasoning, I knew it! Dude, I don't like this. Yo, my god! Okay, it's very high pitched now, guys. I'm about to turn it down on the video. Dude, is that it?
Made by yo, yo. Shout out to the freaking creator, man. This is dude. I one of my biggest things I love about horror is horror commercials, dude. Like where it seems very genuine, seems nice, and then eventually it just goes to the darkness. It slowly gets to that point, it don't just dive on in, but it gets disturbing, and I freaking love those, man. So yo, huge shout out to the creator. Like, dude, or or well, I call everybody dude, but yo. Please make more content. This is freaking fire. Definitely deserve all the credit that, that is due. All right, guys, so that was our analog horror for today. I do greatly appreciate all of you guys' crazy amount of support. Like I said, honestly, these sets of videos I've been watching truly gave me the chills. And it's been a minute since I felt this disturbed by watching analog horror, to be honest, like, because it had a real life stories in it. You know, it, had a, it had a mixture of like real life stories mixed in with, I hope to be fiction. <laughs> I hope to be fiction with the, uh, the Jacob story. Oh, it's the, the, the cop story. I, I really hope that's, uh, you know, made up. But regardless of the fact, hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Go ahead, leave a like on it, and subscribe. We greatly appreciate all the support, guys. I'm going to be trying to mix up some things, probably bring you guys a few horror gameplays, too, in the future. So thank you guys so much. Greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.